Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and we've been talking about f dealing with false teaching. You know, Peter said in 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 1, there shall be false teachers amongst you. Now, even when you have false prophets, you know, someone walks up to you and say, Oh, thus says the Lord, or oh, I see this vision, or oh, I see that. Now, the problem is never with the prophecy. Whether it's true or it's not true, the problem is never with the prophecy. The problem is always with the teaching that comes along that prophecy. Now, for example, someone comes up, now you see this a lot, and, and this has influenced the body of Christ for a while, but it's wrong. Let me explain this to you. Someone, for example, is casting out demons, and he begins to interrogate the demon and say, where did you come from? Oh, I came from the grandmother. And he says, how did you enter this one? Uh, this one is because she used to steal food in the kitchen, in the pot. And that's when I entered into it. And then this person casting out devils now turns to the congregation. Say, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Demon, say it again. How did you enter this person? Uh, he used to steal food from the pot or... Or he used to fornicate, or he enter. He say, are you hearing? When you do this wrong, demons will enter you. Hey, that is so false. <laughs> it's God. He said, but but listen. Why is it false? Who's the teacher? Now, is it the Holy Spirit that is teaching this thing, or you are now taking notes from a demon that you are casting out? You know, we've been hearing. A lot of all these things happen. You know, people come and they, they, they say all kinds of things. You know, they, they tell you visions and, and things that don't make sense. I, I'm telling you, they don't make sense. You know, you, know, you hear things like, oh, when a, 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 a lady or a man have uh, slept with several people, you carry all the spirits of the people that you are. So now you have plenty of demons living, sincerely speaking. Where did these teachings come from? Now, I know it is a desire to make people to be holy. A desire to make people to be righteous. A desire to make people stay away from iniquity. But we jump at those things. But let me tell you this truth. Anything that is, doesn't have its foundation in the truth can never stand. If you tell people to stay out of sin and then you tell them lies, I'll tell you something. A day will come, they will rebel against that lie and they will realize truly it doesn't hold water. Now, what happens then? Oh, there, is, there, will be, there will be an unleashing of iniquity in their hearts. I'm telling you the truth. You know, sometimes we do this to children. We lie to our children because we don't want them to do certain things. So we tell them lies. To keep them. And then you tell yourself, look, they, that's what they can handle for now. So let them. See, the day they will come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, they will question every other good thing that you have told them. So you don't lie to your children. You tell them the truth. Explain everything to them. Tell them, look, this is what this is. This is what this is. This is why you shouldn't do this. This is why you shouldn't do that. And don't spare them anything. You see, because you think they are small, but their mind is processing everything. And let me tell you the truth. Those things you have said got stuck in their mind. And your, ch I'll tell you this, your children want to grow up realizing, oh, my daddy was right. Oh, my mommy was right. Let me tell you this. Even if they go astray, see, because you pray for them and because you have looted them with the truth, a day will come where they will come to their realization. And let that day be the day they will realize that my dad, my mom was right. Do you know what that means? They will come back to you for more wisdom. But the day they get to that place of understanding and they begin to reason the things you told them when they were five, the things you told them when they were ten, and they're like, but my dad told me, how could I have believed this kind of a thing from my dad? <laughs> you know, we all grew up that way. How could I? But you know, I, oh dear Lord, man, my dad told me lots of lies. Now, do you know what that means? 
Now, that's why we depend on the Lord to guide our children. Now, the same way you guide your physical children is the same way you guide your spiritual children. Is the same way you guide your church. Is the same way you guide everyone, everyone around you. You speak the truth. That's what the Bible says about speaking the truth in love. <laughs> Praise God. Now, our time is up. Praise God. Listen, this is interesting. And I, I'll tell you this. Pay attention. You know, David actually told Solomon in the book of Proverbs, he says, look, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears unto my sea. Why is there pay attention? And he also listen to my say, pay attention. Attend to, you know, look at it very well. Why did you say this? Why did you say that? That's where understanding comes from. Many times in statements, understanding is between the words. So if you can understand the words perfectly, understanding will come to you. Praise God. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have the best day ever. Bye-bye.